Brian Campbell, Dan Rayfield will join us in a moment. Johnny Gonzalez puts his belt on the line against Gary Russell Jr. in a fight that offers contrasting styles. Brian Gonzalez is a straight-ahead banger with power, while Russell is a ring technician with speed. So what are your expectations? The contrast in styles is really what stands mm -hmm. out here. Like you said, you know, Gonzalez, the puncher. Russell, he might have the, the best hand speed in the whole sport, yeah, arguably. Yeah, first two defenses. Now, he had, like you said, loss the Gonzalez knockout punch. against Adam Morris. That was a, considered a very big upset in 2013 yep. when he stopped him in the first round. But then in his next defense, or rather his first defense, he you know he took a 10-round technical decision against the division. Totally but what you're here to see well. is how Gary Russell Jr. responds to that first defeat a year ago against Vasyl Lomachenko. Yeah. He had been really you know called out for for the way that he was was brought up in his career, never stepping up to take a higher level fight. Was really just took that huge leap into the Lomachenko fight. Found out that he wasn't up to the task in that regard. How does he that just don't bounce back mentally times. from taking that yeah. kind of way, devastating dude. defeat? I know it was a majority decision on the scorecards, but it was pretty clear and one-sided that Lomachenko came out on top. Yeah, you wanted more to Russell in that fight. You were just like, come on, you know, you wanted him to... He just did not look wild. sharp in that fight at all. Uh, it was a terrible performance, frankly. You know, he, he definitely won it, but it was not anything to be excited about, particularly the low level of opposition he was fighting. Then his second defense, he knocked out Jorge Arce in the 11th round. Now, Arce, of course, has been a top action fighter, a fan favorite for a long time, but he was a much smaller guy. And it took him 11 rounds to get him out of there. A fighter that's point. much slower, not nearly as skilled as Gary Russell Jr. And so I want to see, can he take it to the next level against a fighter like Russell, who still has something to prove, I think, but going to be From the best guy standpoint, that Johnny Gonzalez standpoint. has faced in a long, long time, including Abner Morris, who we knocked out. Yeah, we, we talked about the uh, Lomachenko fight, Brian. He's won 25 of his 26 fights. That was his lone blemish. So tell me how this 2008 U.S. Olympian is going to Trying win. to come on late in that You're fight. But the bad thing like is that he never really was able to make those adjustments when he was in there against a guy in Lomachenko who probably had better hand speed than he thought coming in. Yep. Clearly had top-notch technique, top-notch test. This is a there fight. No that There's very no much Russell B. should win. Okay. He's going to have that opportunity with that huge advantage in speed, that huge advantage in movement. If he can stay away from trouble, stay away from Gonzalez's big punch, this is a fight he can win. But like we referenced earlier, he's going to have to answer some questions. I think the good thing he can take from that loss is that Russell stood there in that fight. That in case he falls into trouble in this one, he's going to have to have a way to do that. But setting up when you look at the, on paper, this is a fight Russell should win in my mind. Absolutely. Uh, Dan, when we talk about the fruits of victory, the what's plan, in store in for place. the winner? Uh, Al Heyman, who is the advisor for Gary Russell, also has other fighters in and around that weight class. And so you saw Abner Mares. He came in back uh, last month and got a, you know, a tune-up win on March 7th, rather, in the first PB Russell on his coming Saturday night. And now we have the winner of that fight is very good likelihood to fight against Abner Mares come this summertime, which would be a significant fight for either guy. And then the guy who emerges from a Russell Gonzalez Abner Morris fight for later in the year, you're looking who has one of the belts at 122 fight, pounds, who at that Leo point Pink. would probably come up and wait. So we'll have, uh, that would be, I guess, the end game of the group of guys that are in these various fights, is the winner of Saturday's fight against Morris and the winner of that fight against, eventually, Leo Santa Cruz. All good matchups, by the way. It's all about the PBC. You're down with PBC, uh, right? Yeah, you know me. Come on. <laughs> That's